Nani? Hi guys, I'm Sean Lam, and you're watching Episode Ideas. <sighs> After I'm back from school, I saw something very, very heartbreaking. My pet fish beta is not acting like a healthy one. That day, I saw my fish struggling to swim and always stay on the surface of water. And this is a very big problem for a pet fish owner. Hi, hey, hey, hey. He lose a lot of appetite and the colors of it already start to fade. At early days, I didn't realize that it's so serious though. I just leave it there and then start observing him. As expected, my fish feel more ill the next day. I can see parasites on his body and he start to lose appetite. After some researching, I come to a conclusion which is column nourish and swim bladder disease. To explain roughly about these two diseases, Columnaris is a bacterial infection while swim bladder disease is simply constipation in fish. At first, I use this to treat him. After two days, the fish become more active but still refuse to eat. Due to constipation, I decided to feed him with green pea which can cure constipation in fish but he still refused to eat. Hiya failure. failure. Then day 4, he still refused to eat. I'm so hopeless that day. Miracle happens in day 5. I saw my fish start eating. I quickly feed him more food. From that day onwards, his illness recover very quickly. I just can't believe my eyes. He start to react angrily to another beta, eating very often and start swimming actively in his tank. After that day, I start observing his situation every single day and I remember at the day 9, day 9, Day 9, my fish fully recovered. It's very hard and tough for me and my fish. I struggle mentally and he struggles physically. So, what I can say is, always stay positive and be responsible for your own pet. Don't just leave it there and die. It's our responsibility to take care of our pet. Okay, what an amazing journey. And as you can see, this is my pet fish he's now fully recovered and playing with his buddy 